Hi, this is Saturday the 28th of November 2020. This is the Labour report from the Democratic Alliance. This is our weekly Labour bulletin. Firstly, we're going to discuss the failure of the Labour Department. Um, Parliament now is busy going through their budget reports of each department and we can clearly see that Labour is not working. I repeat, Labour is not working. Despite themselves and despite a pass that they gave themselves, it is a downright disgrace and we'll discuss that. We're going to discuss the annual review of the national minimum wage. It's come out, the review has come out and it's open for public comment and I look forward to commenting on Zame and hopefully you will do so as well. Thereafter, we're going to discuss the withdrawal of the emergency TERS payment, that's a UIF payment, that came to an end at 15th of October and they've now officially withdrawn it completely. Um, if you've put in a claim, you can still pursue it, but they have withdrawn it. And thereafter, I do want to discuss the trucking in South Africa, the situation that we've got where truckers are being murdered mostly xenophobic and we're going to discuss that as well. So I'm Michael Bagram, I'm the Labour spokesperson for the Democratic Alliance and I bring this report to you from the Democratic Alliance. So as I said we're going to discuss the failure of the various entities of the Department of Labour and let's have a look at those entities. Um, I don't want to bore anyone but let's have a look at them and expand a little bit on it. In essence uh, you can see that the department has had to take its own knock. They've had to obviously um, give over some of their funding to keep SAA well funded. Um, as you saw, the government had to give another 10.5 billion rand to that vanity project SAA. Uh, that is uh, probably the biggest disgrace we've seen in this past week. But we're having so many disaster after disaster one tends to forget the ones from two weeks ago uh, that we just lurch from one morass to the next. And so what we're having a look at is entities within the Department of Employment and Labor. For instance, Compensation Fund. Well, you know the Compensation Fund has been dysfunctional now for 22 years, maybe 23 years, and we know that Private doctors, private hospitals won't see patients. Who suffers? The workers of South Africa. They just won't see the patients anymore because they don't get paid. So that's a failure, despite the fact that they've passed themselves. Then we've got the UIF, the Unemployment Insurance Fund. Well, we know that's a failure because we've actually experienced it now. And we've seen that literally millions of workforce of South Africa have been failed by our government. The failure has been tremendous. So that's a failure. Then we look at other entities, um, and I'm not going to go through them all. There's six entities altogether. Uh, but even NEDLAC, people are complaining that they don't speak on behalf of the unemployed. Although we know that's half the workforce, or should be half the workforce. Can't call them the workforce because they're staying at home. They're looking for jobs, but they don't speak on behalf of them. So that's a failure. Now... We do have the one that I've always told you that is a success. Now that's something else. That's fantastic. We've got a success. That's the CCMA, the Commission of Reconciliation, Mediation and Arbitration. But what has our genius of a Minister of Employment and Labour done? He wants Labour not to work. And so he's taken the first 99 million rand away from the CCMA to ensure that they become a failure as well. So I am recommending, and I hope that you all with me on this, that we all tell the Department of Employment and Labor that you are a failure and you don't deserve any accolades at all. So on that note, when we run through the BRRR reports in the uh, Parliament, I hope we give that message to the Minister that his department is a failure. Then what we come through to is the national minimum wage. Now the national minimum wage we all know created havoc at the workplace. Thousands of farm laborers found themselves on the streets. Hundreds and hundreds of domestic workers found themselves on the streets. 
Many of the shops that couldn't afford their staff went through a retrenchment exercise. We know that. We know that 750,000 people lost their jobs almost immediately upon the inception of the national minimum wage. Well, now the report has come out, the review, and they want to actually increase it. Still in lockdown, still the economy is disastrous, but they want to increase the national minimum wage. And again, I'm asking you, the member of the public, to stand with me on this and to say to increase the national minimum wage is just merely creating more unemployment. We have 50% unemployment in South Africa. We're going to create more. And you know what happens. When the farm laborers initially had their uh, wages increased initially before the national minimum wage, all the farmers did was they mechanized and they retrenched half their workforce. How useful is that? The national minimum wage then becomes 0%. In other words, you receive 0 rand per month if you're staying at home. So I'm asking you to think about it. And when the government is looking at their review and asking for commentary, which they are, comment. Say that we want to create employment, not destroy employment. Then we have the Government Gazette. It's just come out. The Minister of Employment and Labour has issued the Government Gazette saying the TERS payment is no more. They're not going to increase it for one month. In other words, to put it through for the month of November, let alone December. They have got money still in the UIF. There is still money there with the PIC, the Public Investment Corporation. But I think government's got its eyes on that. They want to use that money, I suspect, for ESCOM. Now, that's not their money. It belongs to the workers of South Africa. I hope the trade unions speak up and shout the odds. And then finally, we come to trucking. Now, we know that the railways are dysfunctional in this country. And we know that many of our ports of entry can't function properly at all. And we're relying a lot on many of our goods to arrive in KwaZulu-Natal in Durban. How do they get around the country? They get with the trucking. What does our workers in South Africa do? Because they're so desperate and they can't find jobs due to the fault of our government, they are attacking foreigners. And they see that many foreigners are driving these trucks. So it's xenophobic. What are they doing? They are destroying the economy even more. How can you attack a truck to try and attack the foreign worker so that you can get his or her job, but there is no more truck once you've attacked it? I mean, does that make sense? Well, our government, once again, has not done all that much. All our president did was express shock. He seems to be a lot of shock in his mind uh, over the last few weeks. Maybe what he should do is get proper advisors and he won't get shocked so often. So thank you very much for listening to me today. We know that Labour is not working. This is the Labour report from the Democratic Alliance. It's Michael Bagram. And Saturday, the 28th of November, 2020, I appreciate you looking at me.